don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. We used to rap it like that. I'm too busy getting money. Ain't worried about you niggas hanging on me. You ain't got nothing better to do with your time. Oh. I don't in my every No weapon formed against you, Sam Prosper? This wasn't formed, it was manufactured. Damn. Yo, 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 you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification game, RiceGameClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. Red Breed Entertainment. Max out card went down this weekend. Everybody's got their own opinions. Some people feel it was like this. Some people feel it was like that. But I just, and there's something that I heard this morning. And I have to talk about it because I just want to know what y'all opinion is. Um, Ill Will versus A Ward went down. Matter of fact, I want to start. I want to give a shout out to Rosenberg Raw and to ARP. I'm gonna do Rosenberg Raw first because I think that it needs to be spoken on. Rosenberg Raw had one of the best performances of the night. He literally broke down, show off all the way 3-0. Beat him, had bars on top of bars on top of bars. You was in jail. Your name was Show Off. I'm wondering what was he showing off. Like, he went crazy on him. He's one of the only artists besides uh, Ill Will and A Ward that went. And A Ward even had some moments where the crowd was giving him a little little kickback. But Show Off, I mean, but Rosenberg Raw, all three rounds. And my shirt says, Don't Skip Leg Day. You know, I've been, I've been in there. I, I want y'all to stay with me. So, um, he. Like, had one of the most flawless performances. He beat this guy clear. All three rounds. Show off, had to pull, rise. That, that bar is all over the internet. People are saying, what in the hell was Show Off? What was he talking about? Show Off. When you start rapping like that, we need you to stop rapping like that. I don't know what he was talking about. Show Off got beat. But uh, Rosenberg Raw clearly got the win. ARP. Salute to ARP. ARP provided a way for... A lot of artists to eat this weekend, a lot of media. Regardless of who you watch, it don't matter. See, me personally, I don't have no issues with nobody. Like, whatever you think from years and years, I personally, at this point in time, I don't have an issue with a single person. Now, if somebody got an issue with me, that's their problem and I don't give a fuck about it. But me personally, I've been way too successful. This channel is heading towards 70,000 subscribers, 33 million views, and the Cassidy versus Hitman recap did over 100,000 in one day, respectfully. So I personally, do not wake up with any platform or anyone on my mind. Everybody eats, B. When you have a situation like a Cassidy versus Hitman, everybody's eating. Everybody's going to do numbers. There's enough bread to bake biscuits for the whole project. So salute to ARP for even putting this together. Like, people are saying, oh, this event was a two, or this event was a nine, or this event was a five. It don't matter because you have to realize that ARP just booked the battles. The crowd's gonna do what the crowd is gonna do. Like, with them booing and them ruining, they ruined the Cassidy versus Hitman. The second and third round, some of the parts of that battle was definitely ruined. People was like three bars in and they was getting booed in their round. Like, that was a little out of control. But, what I must say about ARP, salute to him because he provided a way for all of those guys to eat. He provided an event, you know what I'm saying? And Hitman and Cassidy got paid, everybody else got paid too. You never hear no issues about people getting their bread. Like you never hear no everybody eats B. But here's the situation. Ill Will versus A Ward, which was the battle of the night. The best battle on the card. It was the battle of the night. Almost didn't happen. If Ill Will was not as thorough or as trill or as real or as, you know, being a man as he is, this battle probably wouldn't have happened. ARP said on his live stream today, it's like two hours and some minutes long. You know ARP's uh, blogs be longer than the last 10 minutes of work. So this shit's be long, you gotta go through that. I forgot, when I heard it, I should have got it, but I didn't get it, man. I, it was early in the morning. He said uh, that there was calls made to try to get Ill Will to back out of the battle and get him to come off the card. I think that shit is so whack because my thing is this. What is Ill Will, why was he not gonna take the battle versus A Ward? A Ward is not on URL. 
A Ward is not like like you not booking them, even though A Ward is better than a lot of the new niggas over there. It's just politics that's keeping A Ward off the cards. A Ward don't want to battle for free, and A Ward don't want to do crucibles, and he shouldn't. What the fuck is he doing them joints for? He's better than all of them cats, so I wouldn't do it either. That's another story. But uh, Ill Will versus A Ward is no threat. That is no threat. It's against somebody who's not on your platform, somebody who you're not booking, somebody who you're not interested in, quote unquote. What is the reason to try to get Ill Will back out of the battle? And this is the reason why, when you look at the situation, Ill Will, salute, real nigga. That, that whole moment, this wasn't, uh, this wasn't formed, it was manufactured. That shit wouldn't have happened if Ill Will would have backed out of the battle. And I'm glad that he didn't. And I'm glad that ARP had that battle happen because if it wouldn't have happened, that car, I don't know where that car would have went. Man, that car would have went south quick. But to try to get him to back out of a battle and he doesn't do it, like, why would he do that? Like, that shit don't make no sense. And I know y'all niggas be saying, oh, it's the leagues and it's the platform. One platform is on pay-per-view and on YouTube and the other platform is on caffeine. They're going two totally separate directions. So I don't understand where you have to try to cut the other person's break line and it didn't work. First of all, there's battles that still ain't came out yet. Real sick and all them super fight battles from last Real sick versus Mike P and all them battles from fucking other car that you had ain't even on the app yet. We paying to see all these new niggas every week that ain't nobody even talking about. Let's get to that. Nobody even talking about these niggas. None of them is even creating no traction. Ain't no wiggle. Ain't no wiggle. Ain't no wiggle. If I drop a blog on one of them shits, that shit will do 2,000 views. Nobody's talking about that shit. But you're trying to cut Ill Will's legs from under him from getting a bag. And you know he just had a kid not too long ago. If I know he, they know that the man just had a child and the man got to get a bag, the man got to provide and feed his family, but you want to cut him out and then have him not take the battle? For what? Like, that shit is wild corny, son. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. That shit is wild corny. That's why I'm glad I be independent. I do my own shit. You know what I'm saying? I do my own numbers over here because that political bullshit is whack, son. Imagine if Ill World vs. A World wouldn't have happened and we paid $50 for this card. Niggas would have been going crazy on ARP. And that's why people was trying to give him flat for the Sirius Jones shit. I'm like, no, absolutely not. He can't take no flat. Why would he take flat if a nigga can't guarantee he going to be there? Like, what I'm giving you was being given. You're not giving what you were supposed to give. The nigga could not book his flight because of the whole situation with his PO or whatever the other case may be. So... If the nigga can't guarantee you he gonna be there, you gonna still have him on the card? You gonna still have him out there as a liability? And then the battle don't happen and then what? Now everybody's bugging. Now that's two battles that didn't happen. Then you had to have Clone and Big K happen at the last minute. It was a cool battle. Clone, you know, he needed more time for that because I could hear in his material that it wasn't, it was less than a week. You know what I'm saying? To perform in front of a big stage, that shit ain't easy. It is not easy. But I mean, he got off and did what he did. Overall, uh, and then Jag, like Jag beat O'Red. Jag, Jag beat him 2-1. O'Red got the first round. If I cut the battle off after the first round, I would've thought Jag got 30. I would've thought he got 30, but it didn't happen that way. Jag comes back. You, 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 you take your penny, you write about shit that you've seen on the screen. I just had to look out my screen door. I was beefing with, you was, I was beefing with the ops. You was beefing with Grubhub. This nigga was talking crazy to O'Red. He was talking crazy to him. But overall, you know what I'm saying, uh, there were some good battles on the card. Uh, Rosenberg Raw needs to be getting talked about more. Uh, the, 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 the Jag situation was definitely fight. And that Ill Will versus um, A Ward. And this whole blog is basically to just salute Ill Will for, for being a stand up nigga. And if you agree to take a battle, take this shit. We've seen too many times when a nigga take a battle, like when Oops had JC, nigga take a battle and a nigga be like, yo, we'll book you the same day. Or I heard, I heard Shotgun Sugar versus Pat Stay was supposed to be going down. Phone call made battle gets canceled. And there's so many other battles that were supposed to happen that a nigga will call and cut the legs off from another league. Like, for real, that shit, I can't tell people what to do on their own time because they're going to do it. But I will salute when a nigga like Ill Will does what he does. He had the best performance of the night. Him and A-Ward were some of the best performances of the night. Ill Will is one of the only MCs besides Rosenberg Raw that did not get booed. This nigga went through three rounds of fire material and did not get booed one time. Really, if he did, it was some minimal shit. 
but he was flipping words. He was he, he got it low. So like you got to salute that, B. Like he, he really got busy and he deserves his admiration on this day. Uh salutes ill will. And like I said, ill will don't promote much. He don't he ain't not gonna be the nigga out there promoting, he's not gonna be on Twitter, he's not gonna do none of that. But when it comes down to battle rapping and battle rap, Ill Will gonna give it up, man. He gonna get busy against whoever. And the thing is, if you hot enough, if you cooking, they booking. Him taking a award is not gonna stop him from getting booked anyway. It will not. Regardless, you may ruffle a little feathers. People might feel the way. But if you good enough, they gonna still book you. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you got some staying in the game. Now, if you a brand new nigga, like, you just came up. And you barely out for the, off of the little tournament shit where Rex said niggas be, the teenagers be rapping on weekends and shit. You can't, yeah, that's a different story. But if you got stain in the game, son, niggas cannot tell you. I've been telling niggas, you need to get your bag. Because at the end of the day, you are only useful as long as you can be used. Once you cannot be used no more, once you cannot be controlled, they need to get you out of the way. I remember a long time ago, a nigga told me, you cannot have your own YouTube channel. Imagine if I listened, son, 70,000 views, 70,000 followers and 30 million views later, if I listened to a nigga who told me I could not have my own YouTube channel, I paid all my bills off of talking shit. Imagine if I listened from a nigga who never paid me a dollar, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, shit, yo, y'all niggas take it easy, man. Salute to ARP. <laughs> Salute to Rare Free Entertainment. Bro, you got to do you in this lifetime, son. It may not make everybody feel the greatest, but fuck it, man. Sometimes you gotta, gotta do what you gotta do, man, because niggas is not gonna care about you. Because I promise you, if Ill Will got put out his place tomorrow, niggas would be like, I could put you on the next card. We could give you fucking Taco Bell Tony on Super Fight or some shit, which is not gonna be bigger than A Ward versus fucking. Ill Will just beat two people, 3 0, the same fucking day. On a card, Your Honor and Miss Miami be both in the same day, and those two battles combined are not bigger than him versus A Ward. If they are, tell me. Guarantee they not. I guarantee it. I'm gone. Salute to Rare Breed One. I'm too busy getting money. Ain't worried about you niggas hating on me. You ain't got nothing better to do with your time.